and just be like, oh yeah, Quincy just said be alone. So I'm just gonna be by myself. I'm not gonna focus on getting better social skills. I'm just gonna be by myself. I'm gonna be a hermit crab. I'm gonna live under a rock like Patrick Starr. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that you need to understand how to be alone, you don't always need to call somebody. Tell me, would you love me if I never had nothing? Would you come around if I never was starting? Baby, gonna lie to me, lie to me. Baby, gonna lie to me, lie to me. And brought her to my home, and I never should invite her. Cause now she push my buttons like a fucking typewriter. All she do is lie to me, lie to me. All she do is lie to me, lie to me. So look. I was trying to figure out how I could structure this video, how I could, you know, make some funny things and add on to this video, man. The biggest thing is just to be real with y'all, to be very straight up, man. And me being very straight up, I've done things like this on the channel before, and um, I'm going to bring it back, you know what I'm saying? Just me talking with y'all. For the people who haven't subscribed, check me out, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Come in, sit with us, man. Let's talk, let's chat. Dynasty for life, man, this is really for y'all, man. Be strong-minded, like, you you have to be strong-minded. But there's levels to it, man. Um, you can't just do it overnight. Like, you can't just say, okay, mm, wake up in the bed. Ah, I'm strong-minded today. It don't, it don't happen like that, you know what I'm saying, all right? You gotta understand, like, it's, it's different ways to actually become that. I didn't write nothing down, all right? I want this to be authentic. I want this to be real coming from me to you. And the only way that I'm gonna do that is just by speaking off the head. You already know I'm a music artist from St. Louis, and if you don't know, now you know. Now you know. Now you know. One thing, in order to be strong-minded, you have to let go of the baggage that you already had. That's easier said than done. Don't get me wrong. But what do I mean? I mean, by letting go of the baggage, you have to, you might be holding on to relationship, things that just didn't work out, old jobs, uh, money that you didn't lost, you know what I'm saying? Maybe a relative that you're not cool with. But like, to be strong-minded, you have to understand that moving forward, there is going to be something better for you. Like, and, I, and it's gonna be something better for me, it's gonna be something better for you, period. There is nothing else that you, it's going to be something better for you, all right? So being strong-minded is understanding that this, whatever situation you in, isn't the end-all be-all. If you understand that that situation isn't the end-all be-all, then you know that if you just keep on moving forward, keep on trucking forward, then you're gonna actually find something that's gonna be better for you. Let me give you an example, man. Like, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. This is for my guys, and it's also for my women. I was actually in a relationship like uh, 2018 to, like early 2019 and I'm gonna be real with y'all you know I was in I was with somebody that you know everything started out good you know we started we got closer and closer and closer and you know you fall in love and you start to overlook certain things and so what I did was I started to overlook certain things certain behaviors and look I became a little weak-minded I stopped hanging around a lot of my friends I stopped um, you know going out to certain places if I wasn't with her uh, you know what I'm saying? I stopped doing the things that I love to do. And then when me and her broke up, like it was like World War Three in my mind. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't do what I wanted to do. I couldn't record right. And I understand some people might be like, oh man, you know what I'm saying? That's a simple, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I was in love at the time, but it taught me one thing. And that's always, and this is for you younger people, guys and girls specifically, Specifically, my guy, you know what I'm saying? You need to focus on your passion. Focus on what makes you, you. Focus on being better at being you. You know what I'm saying? You don't need all that other distractions. Women, y'all can go through the same thing. You don't need that man, you might think you do, but look, I'm trying to tell you that you need to focus on you. You need to focus on what makes you happy. At the end of the day, you should not be looking for happiness from anybody else, all right? So how do you do that? First, you gotta be alone. All right? And that's the second thing with being strong-minded. You have to learn how to be alone. Alone. You gotta learn how to be by yourself because that's when you're, uh, you're, you're gonna build up this toughness about yourself. And I don't mean like, oh, I can't get friends and shit like that because I'm awkward. I mean, that's something different. Like, you can work on yourself if you want more friends. But I'm saying, 
like if you if you get out of a relationship and immediately jump into one, it's really because some deep down inside you don't want to be alone. All right. And I understand not everybody wants to be alone, but you need to learn how to be by yourself. You need to go out to eat because you like the restaurant, not because you want to go on a date all the time. Maybe go out to eat, go to the bar, order what you like. You know, in order to be strong-minded, you have to know how to be alone. You have to be comfortable being by yourself. People might be sitting there thinking like, he don't know what he's talking about. But think about this, if you don't know how to be alone, then you're always gonna be around somebody. You're gonna keep around those toxic friends, toxic relationships, toxic, um, you know, family. And a lot of people got toxic family. Maybe they have great friends and a great relationship, but maybe their problem is their family. Maybe the problem is their mother, brother, sister, nephew, cousins that they ain't around. Like, look, your family members can be toxic too. I was like the only child, you know what I'm saying? So me growing up, I had to understand how to be by myself. I was the only child in the household. You know what I'm saying? I actually had to understand what it's like being alone. So it might be a little easier for me, you would think. But in fact, the opposite happened. I actually wanted to be around more people. I was very sociable. My dad, he's very sociable. He knows how to talk. He had his own nightclub. My mom, she was a social worker for 30 years. So I know how to talk to people just got, just by getting it from them. I really found myself when I learned how to be by myself. You know what I'm saying? And that feels great because I don't take no crap from nobody. I don't take no crap from anybody I'm cool with. I don't take no crap for any anybody I'm trying to be cool with. And I definitely don't take no crap for any of the women that's trying to step to me if we talking, we in a relationship, yada, yada. I don't take nothing, like none of that. So you gotta understand, being alone, it makes you almost feel like you're invincible. Don't run with that. You saying both. Please don't you saying both with that and just be like, oh yeah, Quincy just said be alone. So I'm just gonna be by myself. I'm not gonna focus on, you know, getting you know, getting better social skills. I'm just gonna be by myself. I'm gonna be a hermit crab. I'm gonna live under a rock like Patrick Starr. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that you need to understand you don't always need to call somebody stuck with the phone to the side of your face. Hello? Hello, you still there? You gotta understand that, man, your strongest confidence is gonna be, damn, if a person is not available, if somebody doesn't like me, if somebody doesn't wanna do this, I'm comfortable with going out by myself. That's when, that's when you get ultimate power. You're going to have to be disciplined, all right? You have to be, and this is the most, this is the biggest thing. Even I struggle with this, all right? But you're going to have to be disciplined. And this is a testament to being disciplined. I said that I was going to do this video all day. Just for my subscribers. I'm going to talk to them. Yada, yada. Didn't even know what I'm going to talk about. But it hit me like a ton of bricks. Boom. You know what I'm saying? You need to talk about how being strong-minded. I have a lot of conversations with my friends. And a lot of that conversation is being forward thinkers. You know what I'm saying? Moving forward. And being strong-minded and a strong-willed person. And I learned from watching a lot of people, David Goggins, uh, Joe Rogan, uh, Will Smith, Kevin Hart, Dave Chappelle, the list can go on. You know, Kevin Gates is another one of them. You know, all of these people, what do they have in common? Lil Wayne, even Gucci Man, discipline. Rihanna, Katy Perry, discipline. Michael Jackson, discipline. For all my, D-Wade, Michael Jordan, discipline you get what i'm saying here the discipline strong-minded they're not afraid to be alone because when you're alone you actually understand that man i need to push forward when you're alone you have to confront all those negative things that you might have thought that you're trying to run away from you're not gonna you're not going to find the answers to your problems at the bottom of a hennessy bottle you know what i'm saying literally you're gonna find the answers to your problems right there i got a lot of people that are subscribed to me on this channel right now i want to say big shout out to you a lot of you guys are small youtubers as well and i always wanted to say to y'all being disciplined very very big fundamental part of you being a strong youtuber and then, and being disciplined is almost is the it is the building blocks of the house of whatever you're trying to do also contributes to a strong mind because you know what you're saying when you're disciplined you're saying that no despite the urges that i want to do that's not pertaining to the main goal that i set for myself 
I have enough self-respect to say forget that and go forward doing what I need to do. And that is the biggest strong-minded person. You gotta know how to be alone. You gonna have to have some discipline. And the last thing, being a strong-minded person, you have to cut ties with people who don't see you as that, one, and people who don't want you to be. Me being in uh, the relationship, I, she didn't want me to be. I was a very strong-minded person. And like some, some people can end up getting weak over time, or some people can end up being too involved in a relationship, and they can end up forgetting their friends and family. But you got to understand that being a strong-minded person, which I had to come back to, is like you're going to take care of yourself and you're going to realize that the happiness is deep down inside you. It ain't in another person. It ain't in your job. And sometimes it ain't even in your career. Your happiness is inside you. And maybe it is doing what you like to do, but it's the decision that you're making saying that, hey, look, this is what I like to do in life. I'm making the decision to do it. All right, it's in the decision that I'm going to do what makes me happy, what I think that makes me happy. Not what my dad, my mom thinks, not what my girlfriend, or for you ladies, not for what your boyfriend thinks. It's about what makes you happy, all right? And the rest, I don't want to make this a long, drawn out video, man, but I did want to just talk to y'all and just let y'all know, man, I appreciate y'all. Hey, shout out the gang, Dynasty for Life, all right? Dynasty for Life, no light hat. He started that, that hashtag, so I'ma keep it going, man. Dynasty for Life, all right? And Dynasty is my guys and my girls. It's my team, it's my family, it's me and it's you, all right? So we're the Dynasty. So be a part of the Dynasty by subscribing. Also comment down below. Just let me know things that you struggled on. Let me know if you feel like that you're a strong-minded person already. Let me know what being a strong-minded person is to you or Hey, look, if you're not a strong-minded person, hashtag down below strong mind. Because today, today, you make a change. Today, you're going to be the best. Today, you're making one step forward to being a strong-minded person, man. And I'm out.